Zack of the Axe with Padway Vlogs Daily. Well, um, I know we kind of, you know, missed some updates there. I apologize. Uh, we're going to start taking weekends off probably until we get something worked out. Um, a lot of crap is happening because it's early summer, but we're going to get organized, we promise. Anyways, I'm here for a slightly different topic than normal. Um, I'm what well, I'm on the internet all the time, I mean, I'm on a lot. A lot of times I talk about games or music, but my actual main form is uh, about alternate history, which you may or may not know what that is. Um, basically, alternate history is um, speculative fiction. Basically, it's creative writing mixed with history. What it is, is I... The right author chooses a point in history, changes something in that point in history and then shows how the, the world would have progressed with that change. Now obviously there's some huge ones like what if the Salt won the Civil War or what if the Axis of Powers won World War II. Those are the overdone ones and then you get a lot of the I mean you get a lot of those so you get good ones and get really bad ones. But um, there are other ones, there are smaller ones with different, different styles there. Um, a few I want to talk about. I'm currently in the process of reading um, How Free Remain by Harry Turtle Dove, which is based on the Civil War. Basically what it shows you is uh, um, the South wins the Civil War, and then not too long later, North and South are at it again, and there's a second war between the states because uh, the radical regime, the uh, Radicals in the north are upset because the uh, Confederates bought land from Mexico, which adds a lot of border length, and basically, it's just a war because they're pissed off. But it features a lot of interesting stuff, like, um, I mean, Abraham Lincoln is still around. He lost the election because he couldn't win the war, but uh, he becomes a very interesting character because he's not assassinated, so, um, he actually lives long enough to see Karl Marx come around, and he actually becomes a communist, which is very interesting to see him go around um, Utah and preach communist ideas to the Mormons. And uh, you've got some the politics there going on. You can see the ambassadors. You see the um, you know, North talk to their German ambassador and the uh, Southerners are also talking about the you know, French and English. So it's actually very interesting. It shows you both sides. And of course, it's got all kinds of interesting stuff. It's got um, uh, it's got some, like, what they call it, call it um, I call it a turtle Dovian parallel, which is when they parallel something from our timeline and, this, and his timeline. Like, um, in this one, a complete reverse here, instead of, um, not embracing our like cannons and such, um, then Battle of Little Bighorn, like General Custer, he actually this one embraces them quickly and basically relies on them. So that's a complete difference. And then if you get later on in the series, they basically have a parallel wall where in World War One, World War Two, basically the United States and the Confederate States are a representative of um, Russia and uh, Germany, with the Confederate States being Germany, and eventually it gets its own sort of Nazism, and then the uh, southern states being, or northern states rather, being communist. So it's actually rather interesting. Um, I've heard there's some other ones I need to try. I'm still slowly pacing along that book. I'm probably going to finish it up. But um, let's see. There's the band The High Castle, which is basically, it's very unrealistic. I mean, how few remain, at least that book in the series is realistic, and then the rest of them kind of slowly get unrealistic. But this one's pretty unrealistic, but it's good fiction. So basically the concept is FDR's assassinated, and we get uh, Wallace as president, I think, through the Hubert Garter, but um, he screws everything up, and uh, the um, Nazis get one half of America, and the Japanese get one half. There's a little bit in the middle, which is unoccupied. And uh, basically, this guy lives there in a castle. He's the man in the high castle, and he tells a story. And it's not really that realistic or anything, but good fiction is good fiction. 
I need to try it out. I've heard it's actually uh, very good. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm actually writing my own um, alternate history. It's kind of slugging along now because I'm writing other things. But it's called The Leader of the Free World. And uh, basically the concept is what if El Gore was able to win the 2000 election. And uh, I'm just starting it off. But um, when I get closer to the uh, midpoint, I might talk about it a little. I do actually like my timeline. and probably don't like my timelines. I have a whole set of abandoned timelines I never should have started. But I'm actually kind of proud of this one. So uh, we'll see about that. Um, that's all I've really got to talk about for now. So, uh, yeah. This is exactly the axis side of God.